What will happen if the universe starts to collapse? Will everything cease to exist? The Big Bang is believed to be the initial push that calls our universe to begin its seemingly infinite expansion. But what happens when this expansion starts to die down? What would happen if the universe eventually began to collapse in on itself? How will the collapse begin? Currently, the observable universe is approximately 94 billion light years wide and is continuing to expand at an ever-increasing pace with no signs of slowing down. The mysterious theoretical force known as dark energy makes up around two-thirds of the entire universe and is believed to be responsible for currently driving this expansion. But this wasn't always the case. In the early universe, the expansion was largely due to the outward pushing force that started with the Big Bang. But the gravity present when the universe was still relatively small was strong enough to cause the expansion of the cosmos to slow down. That was until around 2 billion years ago, when the force known as dark energy overtook the power of gravity and began to increase the speed of the expansion, driving it to continue speeding up. If this energy does eventually die down, gravity will take back over and begin to pull all the mass in the universe together. Once the era of gravity has dawned, the cosmos will have reached its maximum volume and the big crunch will have begun. During the collapse, what will happen? As the gravitational force begins to draw everything together, there will be giant collisions that'll change the makeup of the universe. The galaxies that were once distant neighbors will begin to draw closer to each other until some of them will eventually combine. Stars within these massive galaxies will be thrown about as violent gravitational forces take over and disrupt the order within them. Eventually, these colossal galactic superclusters will start to come together, forming an incredibly dense group made up of stars from the far reaches of the cosmos. As the collapse comes to an end, the universe will be compressed back to a singularity, just like it is believed to have begun. But the whole process of collapse will most likely take billions of years to complete. What would it be like to live during this time of unimaginable change? Because of the time it would take for the collapse to occur, there are scientists who believe there will be enough time for the new stars and planets to form and die as they would right now. And some even predict that life may also have time to grow and evolve in the many worlds caught in the sluggish death of the universe. But what would happen after the universe collapses and becomes a singularity again is still a highly debated topic. And not all scientists even agree on the way the universe will end. What do we know about the Big Bang? One thing that the majority of scientists do agree on is how the majority of these theories about the universe began with a Big Bang. The Big Bang theory is the most widely accepted theory for how our universe was started. But why is it so widely accepted? Thanks to modern scientific instruments, scientists can actually see the faint light created during the Big Bang coming from all directions in the universe. In addition, they've been able to detect this cosmic background radiation and translate it into the popular map that shows what the universe was like earlier in its life. As astronomers look deep into the universe to see its past, and as they trace the expansion of the cosmos back, all matter seems to have originated from the same point, the center of the universe. What possibilities are there for the universe's end? But an eventual collapse is not the only way that scientists have predicted the universe might end. In fact, there are several theories about the end of the universe that have become popular recently. They've been given the names the Big Rip, the Big Freeze, and the Big Bounce. Proponents of the Big Rip theory believe that dark energy will continue to dominate the universe and gravity will never win back control. This will cause the cosmos to keep expanding until everything is ripped apart. The stars of galaxies will be torn from their places and the planetary systems around the stars will be broken. 
and the destruction will continue until all the matter in the universe is ripped apart to individual atoms. Eventually, dark energy would even tear apart the particles that make up atoms into their fundamental components, and the universe will go completely dark. The Big Freeze theory follows the current trajectory of the universe, but insists that eventually the universe will reach an equilibrium in which the dark energy-driven expansion comes to a halt and allows the universe to reach a static state. From that point on, galaxies and star systems will continue to change and evolve, but the universe as a whole would stay roughly the same for the rest of time. The other possibility for the end of the universe the Big Bounce, is less of an end and more of a reset. It follows the collapse of the Big Crunch theory, with dark energy eventually losing its dominance and gravity will once again become the dominating force in the cosmos. This would start the collapse, pulling everything together until it all collapses into a singularity. But after the singularity is made, there would be a bounce and the universe would restart with another Big Bang. This second Big Bang, dubbed the Big Bounce, is predicted to look very similar to the start of the universe as it currently is. The theory contends that the Big Bang that started our universe was just one event in a cycle of endless universal expansion and collapse. If the Big Crunch leads to a Big Bounce and give birth to the universe all over again, would we recognize the next universe that begins or would it be drastically different from our own? How are scientists researching these possibilities? Astronomers and astrophysicists are working around the world to try and unravel the secrets of the universe's end. They do this by peering far back into the universe's past. Because light travels at a constant speed of 300,000 kilometers per second, if scientists can look into the cosmos, they can see what the universe was like at different times in the past. Up until the recent launch of the James Webb Space Telescope in December 2021, astronomers were limited to looking back to the time around 500 million years after the Big Bang occurred. But James Webb will be able to see back to a time earlier, close to just 100 million years after the Big Bang, when the universe was very different. Everything in the universe was contained in a much smaller volume, and the cosmos was a much hotter and more violent place. Being able to study the universe at an earlier date can provide scientists with clues that can help them build models of the cosmos and figure out how it will age until its eventual death. Will looking back allow them to gaze into the future of the universe and see what the end will be? Do any of these theories seem more likely to you? If you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit the like button and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our new videos exploring the mysteries of the universe. See you next time on Matter.